Couldn't stand for any length of time without massive pain, so I pretty much did nothing. It's been 25 years since Greg Whistler was able to lift a weight. His back pain started in high school following one too many rough hits on the football field. He says the pain never went away. When you were having pain, were you able to sit down and do this like this? No, I didn't work out at all just because everything hurt. Even sitting in this position would hurt my back. Ten years ago, his pain was so excruciating, it landed him in the hospital. Doctors strongly encouraged surgery. They all said that I needed my back fused because there was uh, no cartilage left and the spine was displaced. Whistler held off on surgery. He tried anything and everything to relieve his pain, from acupuncture to chiropractor visits to pain medicine. But five years ago, he learned about a new study with promising results in treating chronic pain without drugs. I'd already decided I wasn't going to do surgery, and I didn't want to medicate my way through life. And so I replied to the study. No surgery, no medication. Did you believe it was real? No. I, I didn't know how it could be done. Yoni Ashar is the lead researcher for the study at the University of Colorado Anschutz Medical Campus. Where we saw these brain changes... His program tackles pain related. with reprocessing yeah, therapy, processing. or PRT. It's a groundbreaking method aiming to retrain the brain to conquer chronic pain. Doctors say even after an injury is healed, the brain continues to send pain signals to the body. But using a series of specific questions and psychological techniques, PRT helps the brain stop recognizing those signals. Tell me when it starts. Tell me when it stops. Does it move? Tell me your pain history. How many chronic pain conditions have you had over the course of your life? What you're describing sounds like talk therapy, not physical therapy. Yes, we talk. It's physical therapy for the brain. Greg Whistler went through eight therapy sessions over eight weeks. He says the results were life-changing. I would give him colors or feelings or pulsing sensations or whatever. I would describe light and, and literally it would just kind of dissipate. And then when you're done describing it, you're like, whoa, it's not there anymore. And Whistler is not alone. Of more than 150 people undergoing eight weeks of PRT, 98% of patients felt improvement and 66% reported being nearly pain-free. I am certain that there are people that are going to watch us talking about this and say, no offense, you're full of it. There's no way that this could be true. Well, that's how we have data. That's why we do studies. The researchers say even they were surprised by the results on MRIs. So here's how pain was showing up in people's brains before treatment. The red spots. The red spots is where the pain was you know, active, the pain was firing. But after treatment, uh, there was a shift and the pain basically shrunk and moved to different regions. So this is after talk therapy? After talk therapy. And the next step, researchers believe when we're in pain, we usually avoid an active lifestyle because we're afraid. But this new therapy tells the person it's okay to exercise and be active, retraining the brain to get the body going. People don't like when they're told it's all in your head, but isn't that kind of what you're saying here? We're telling people it's all in your brain. Before PRT, Whistler was reluctant to exercise. I'd stopped walking, I'd stopped exercising, I'd stopped riding bikes, stopped riding motorcycles, stopped skiing, stopped doing all the things that I'd loved. But now, five years after PRT, Whistler says he's lost 50 pounds and is back to doing the things he loves pain-free. I know in my life it has been transformational. Wow, so I'm sure it. people are watching and wondering if this can be used for other types of pain going forward. That's what I wondered too, and I've been a lifelong sufferer of migraine headaches, and they said that's the next sort of research field that they want to explore with this pain reprocessing therapy to talk to people about where, what the source of headaches are. I'm curious what you think, because you've been so public about yeah. your struggle with back pain. I had chronic back pain for three years. I finally did have the surgery. I tried everything before I did the surgery, but I wonder for those who have real structural issues that show up in imaging like MRIs, if they're in the wake of this being taught now to try therapy first, would that work? Uh, well, that's the question is, if you have this physical pain, what they're saying is pain is real. We're not telling people to not believe that you have actual pain. And there, if you need to have a surgery and the MRI shows it, you have to have that surgery. Right. But with this retraining, it's the original source of the pain that's connected to the thinking part of the brain that they're trying to help you basically let go. It's interesting it because works. I'm sure there are people who are like, no, I have an x-ray. It says this. Yeah, I right. have this right. injury. Right. It needs to be fixed. 
But what's interesting about this therapy is they're saying, yeah, we know, we believe you. Exactly. But we might be able to address the pain, the pain. It's, it's, without it's surgery. It's fascinating. And this it is, is a big study, 150 people in JAMA in a peer-reviewed study. We've never seen anything like this By before. By the way, chronic pain is so suffocating. If yes. gentlemen like that are doing better in the yep. heels of this, then God bless them. He I was know. crying. He was so relieved, Greg uh, Whistler. Yeah. That's all that matters. Fascinating yeah. story, Jacob. Yeah, thanks, cool. guys. Thank, Thank you, Jacob. Thank you, guys. Mr. Roker? I absolutely believe it. I think it's like you're retraining your brain. It's like a mus like muscle memory yep. just trying to break that. I think that's amazing. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.